Well, we're with Amy Savard. Amy, along with her husband Mark, own Wildwood Road Farms. And uh, tell us a little bit about the farm, how you got here, what's your philosophy? Uh, well, we moved up here with no intention of farming, and we came across some information on community supported agricultural and just started farming by trial and error. So, this is the chicken barn. We get um, baby oh, chicks yeah. once a week. Okay. They come in the mail. Okay. <laughs> Oh, how adorable. They're nice and cute when we first oh, get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, how sweet. And these are Cornish rock, correct? Yes. They're specifically bred for meat. Okay. And how many do you get in when you, you place an order? What's the typical order size? We get 50 a week. 50 a week? It's two weeks. Yeah. So you can see the difference in the plumage. Yeah. There. They start to feather lighter. out. Yeah. This is bigger. This is three weeks. These are... Um, four weeks. Are you feeding them different feed along their life cycle or is it the same? It's the same starter mix that we get from the Shirley Mill. Okay. It's and so that's all Wisconsin product. It's corn, corn soy, I take it, right? Yes. We don't want them to grow too fast. It has 22% protein. These are six weeks. And the plumage is completely different even yes. from, from that age. They're, mm -hmm. they're fuller and you can see that their breasts are larger and there's a lot more meat on these. Mm -hmm. These are the eight-week-old birds? Yes, right? both batches. We both try to batches. give them as much space as possible. The majority of these are going to uh, the restaurants. Yes. And then a few of these are going to individuals, yes. right? And so they just contact uh, you on your web or on your local phone number, and they can order these on a weekly basis throughout the summer. Right. And if you have the choice of getting it local versus getting it from far away, you know, we're going to take the local because it's just got a different uh, air to it, right? It's a different vibe, a different taste even. Right. Why don't we take a glance at the vegetables? All right. Wow, this is Door County. This is absolutely beautiful, Amy. I, I see why you live out here. I mean, the space is just gorgeous and, and it's just ripe for what you and Mark have going on here. So well, we grow pretty much everything. Uh, green beans, peppers, tomatoes, broccoli, cabbage, zucchini, cucumbers, salad mix. But we're mostly known for our tomatoes. So sweet. Yeah, nothing's better than right off the bat. Oh, nothing's better than that. I agree. That's fantastic. Well, we have four rows here. There's 150 plants in each row. We have five more in the greenhouse over there. Uh, we strictly, we'll do big beef mostly, and then we do an early girl, and then the cherry and grape tomatoes. Yeah, this is a sweet Italian pepper. That is We just like to let those turn beautiful. red. Beautiful. Those are gorgeous. And, and then we have the standard are, Yankee bell. The standard bell. green yeah. pepper, which is doing a beautiful job here as well. The soil is healthy, and that promotes a healthier plant, and I think a better tasting vegetable. My vision was, really was to be a bar-centric restaurant sure. that focused on local foods. Right. Your beer is all Wisconsin? Yeah, beer. it's all, all Wisconsin. There's a couple of craft from Brooklyn because right. I had to stay true to that. But yeah, you can't that yeah everything else is the craft beers from Wisconsin. And I really wanted to make that a, you know, that was one of Joe's big passions too, is just that let's make, let's give a variety of something that you would have by, you know, a, a style of a beer that you would get from a, a larger brand, but let's, you know, every craft brewery in Wisconsin makes a style sort of like sure. that. So, yeah. you know, on our nitro, we pour a Mud Puppy Porter instead of Guinness, and we, you know, we Old Potosi instead of Estella, things like right. that. So you can, you know, if people are looking for a Heineken or something, you're like, well, not exactly, but here's this, and it's, here's a cool story behind that, yeah. you know, and people are like, wow, this property is on four and a half acres of land, and all the possibilities of even having our own farm space and our own wedding space. You know, we really wanted this to be a gathering spot. We really do want it to be a community-driven restaurant where we have this beautiful lawn out here and we have like the extra space, like we were saying. So that's just a natural, like come, we really want it to be a place where enjoy a, a glass of wine on the lawn before you have dinner and come and hang out on the gazebo and then move into the restaurant and have a dining experience. So it was, that first feel and then the passion behind doing high-end farm-to-table high-quality food but not at a price where you couldn't come here two three times a week if you wanted and some nights you know be on a romantic date or some kind of just sit at the bar and have a beer and a burger and you know enjoy your night out that way my girlfriend sarah had done a lot of research on what farms are out there and what you know were the possibilities and it wasn't really until we got here did we actually were able to stick a, a name with a, you know, the face of the farm. And right. once we were started to do that, we started going to all these different areas and we went to Waseda and they said, you know, I, I was really interested in short rib for our burger. Yeah. And then they said, 
well, how about a special blend, you know? So then not only do we get a short rib, our burger has short rib, brisket, and ground and chuck in it. It's a special blend they make just for us. And it's just amazing because you can actually talk to the farmer yeah. <laughs> and he, you know, and not just say, you know, he's actually doing yeah. that for you. And that's what's so fun, you know, Wild Farms, Trusted Earth, Three Springs, they come every day and drop off their stuff. How's it going? Good. And they come and eat at the restaurant. Yeah. You know, and we bring our friends to the farms and, you know, like, and hopefully it's a full circle of a community. That's really what we want to be a part of. It.